Hello and welcome. Chef Pennington here. Today we're going to do another keto dish. We're going to do pork dusted scotch eggs. Scotch eggs are a perfectly cooked egg with sausage around it and then fried. And we're doing this all gluten free and super duper low carb. So let's get started here. We brought some water up to the boil. We're putting eggs in that are room temperature. That's one of the things that really helps us with this process. And we're not doing it like a normal hard boiled egg. We are putting the eggs into boiling water, hot water to start. And then we're going to set the timer for four and a half minutes and they're going to come out perfect. And I'm going to show you guys the trick to how to peel eggs. Everyone's heard 101 different ways. And at the end of the day, it's always a hassle. So I'm going to show you how to make it not a hassle today, which is cool. And notice I'm not putting it into an ice bath. It's one of the keys. Forget about shocking your eggs. That's not how we do it. So the egg is still warm. You want to get it to where you can handle it and it's not too hot. The reason we're not putting an ice bath and we're not shocking it is there is a little membrane between the shell and the egg that you're going to see here in a moment that when you shock it and you stop the cooking process, it, it seizes up and it sticks back to the egg. That's why they're just so notoriously hard to peel. Now, <clears throat> I'm doing this in room temperature water. You could do this under running water that is warm to hot, whatever you can handle. And you're going to see right here, that's that little membrane I'm talking about. And if we shock the egg and ice, that wants to seize up and it makes the peeling process hard. That's why they've always been so hard. So the key is room temperature water and the eggs are still warm and everything's going to be great. And they'll peel through and you won't end up where you pull some of the shell away and it rips some of the egg off and it messes up the presentation. We're done with that. Fixed. So when I was shopping for product, I noticed Jim and Dean had these perfect little shaped little slider patties. And I was like, man, that looks perfect for covering an egg. So I gave it a try and it works out perfect. Just really just work on flattening it out. And while you're flattening it out, you want it to be the size where you can visualize an egg going in the middle and there's enough sausage to go over it. So as we're pushing this down to the board, it wants to stick to the board a little bit because we've got fat in there and that's easy peasy to get off. We're just going to use a spatula and place our egg in there. And we're going to give the sausage a little bit of help and start shaping around the egg. So there's no perfect rhyme or reason to this. The really idea is to get an even coating of sausage around the egg. And that's why I like flattening it out because we really know it's, it's, you know, everything's very consistent. And then something cool about this is that your, the warmth of your hands is going to start to melt the fat just a little bit, which is cool because then it starts acting like glue as you're trying to get this to perfectly go around your egg. And then we're perfect, voila. Now, once you've got these made, one of the things that's important is to put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. And the reason we're gonna do that, 20 to 30 minutes, all right? The idea is that you're gonna help the yolk get cold, because remember, it's a soft boiled egg. We don't wanna overcook the yolk while it's cooking and, and frying. And it also helps the sausage set up around the eggs. So those are important variables, but it's good to know why we're doing it. So here's our first cool ingredient, which is gluten-free. We're using almond flour. So we're not doing the carb thing, which is awesome. But you won't miss it. You'll never even realize it's not there. And we're going to go into our egg wash, which is just going to help everything stick. And then we're going to use a really cool ingredient next. This is the fun, you know, homage to keto as we made we took pork rinds and we turned them into breadcrumbs and it's carb free or next to carb free. Well, it actually it is carb free. There's no carbs in pork rinds. As you can tell right here, we're just going to puree them. Um, one thing I would say is try not to go for too long because there is a good bit of fat in pork rinds. And if you let this go for a super long time or too long, everything gets hot and warm and it will kind of change the texture. So just get the job done. Everything's perfect, but it really does make a nice breadcrumb and it's obviously full of flavor. So that's a cool tip. You guys that are keto, use that one forever. You guys probably already knew that too, but it's pretty cool. So get a really good coating on it. And then we're going to put into the oil. And one of the things that we're, we're looking at with the oil is we prefer the oil to be not screaming hot. If we're going to fare on one side or the other, we're faring on the side where the oil is slightly less hot instead of more hot which is just going to help the yolk not overcook and also the sausage. What we're really doing right now, since the eggs already cooked is we're really cooking the sausage. So that's something to feel as you're cooking. It only takes a short couple of minutes and the coloring on the outside of the keto egg will help you 
along with that path too. It just takes a few moments because the, the, that sausage is really thin. And we don't want to cook it long, so we want the yolk to stay like that. We want it to be runny for us, and that's a cilantro cream sauce. I'll have that in the recipe card below and all that good stuff. Go ahead and subscribe. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and hit the like button. I'm going to have the links and the recipe and all that stuff below. You guys have the best. Take care.